I always was joking with my family and I said, you know what, knowing my luck, I'm going to fall through a sand hole uh, and I'm going to fall through 4,000 years of history in somebody's like living room. Yeah. And uh, everyone would laugh, but my family knows how jaggy I am. That you, that you would jag it? Yeah. <laughs> and they were like, we'll laugh, but you know, what's the bet? Something. Because my goal, I had two things. I've always joked with my family. Yeah. I'm going to discover the lost tomb of Alexander the Great uh, and the Ark of the Covenant. Oh, yeah. You just know. just some small goals you've set for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But for me, it, blow, it blows me away how no one has discovered Alexander's tomb. Uh, oh. You've got to remember, this guy was, he was king the greatest around conqueror, Europe. The greatest conqueror in the history of yeah, the world, he, well, well, almost. For the time. Yeah. I mean, you got to, he was 20 when he became king. He was 32 when he died and he'd conquered most of the the Hellenistic period yeah. was his. King of Europe, like he was king of Greece and became the king there. King of Persia. Now he was, Persia was the largest empire. Then he went through Egypt and he became Pharaoh. Did you know Alexander the Great was no, Pharaoh? I did not. Well, you see him in hieroglyphs there. So he was, well. Man was kicking ass. Well, you've got to remember Cleopatra right down the end of the Egyptian, yeah. towards the end of the Egyptian empire. She was Greek. She was Macedonian. She was from the Ptolemy dynasty. And the Ptolemies came from one of the generals of Alexander the Great, who was a Ptolemy. So a lot of Damn. that period was Macedonian and Greek. Yeah. And that was because of Alexander. And so I was always walking through and I always said to my Egyptologist, you know, like, I'm going to discover Alexander. And we had this big discussion. There was a, a group of us and... I don't believe he is in Egypt. They had records that his body was there because a lot of the Roman emperors uh, and generals used to go pay homage to Alexander's body. Ah. Uh, Julius Caesar cried at the age of 32 because he said, I've, I've accomplished nothing compared to my uh, hero, Alexander the Great. And uh, so, but I don't believe his body was there. I don't believe... I. Yeah. He died in Where Babylon. Where is it, Wayne? Well, tell us now. Well, I can tell you. Oh, I can tell you where I believe it was. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell me all there, Wayne. Tell me all I'm, I'm, I'm going back. I'm going back in January. I'm coming with you. <laughs> and I, I have my own theory. Like, I traced it back through the history and where he died. He died in Babylon. It's probably people say of typhoid fever. Uh, the worst thing he did when he was on his deathbed is all his generals wanted to know who was going to be his successor. And just before he died, he put up his hand and he said, to the strongest. And it's the worst thing Whoa. because his whole <laughs> empire collapsed, collapsed after, after that. that. Yeah, you know, just the power struggle and the vacuum. And, yeah. uh, but he, you know, one of the greatest conquerors, the leaders of our time, and his, we've discovered his father's tomb. And, you know, out of all the treasures I've seen and the museums, the best museum. Now, I've been to the Cairo Museum, yeah, uh, the oldest museum in the world. A lot of people say it's the Louvre, but the Louvre was built as a palace first. It wasn't uh, a museum. It then became a museum, museum after. But the Cairo Museum is the oldest. But the tomb of Philip II. Philip II was the guy who united Greece. His tomb was outstanding because they built the museum around the tomb and the tomb was underneath this oh, like damn, massive yeah. hill so you had to they built this museum so you're walking through all these old rocks and then you're seeing these glass cases of philip's shield and his his uh, and it's all in gold and his crown his leaves i might put the image over yeah, the video do, now yeah. um you're not allowed to take pictures but you know Someone might have I snuck had some. some. <laughs> I had some really cool ones. Well, we were there alone, literally alone. Oh, wow. And uh, the, for the time we went. And Alexander commissioned the building of his father's tomb. And his father was assassinated by a bodyguard. And uh, I was sitting on the stairs that went down to where the, the entrance of the tomb. No one else was there. And I just sat there thinking, God. You know, uh, just unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. But that, uh, his father was big and they haven't found the greatest conqueror. You know, they haven't found Alexander's tomb. Wow. And I believe his body was cremated. 
mm. because that's what the Greeks did. Yeah, you know, to pass into the underworld, and it was a heavy belief then. You had to be cremated. You had to have the coins on your on your eyes to yeah. pay the pay the, the a, boatman, pay the uh, ferryman. Karen. Yeah, Don't pay the ferryman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, interesting, interesting. Mm.